Assalamu alaikum. What is love? See, I'm going to be talking about what love is in a little less than 20 minutes. See, this is a big topic and a huge conversation, and it is very important. There is nothing more important than knowing what love is, because the way our creator designed us is that our greatest and most powerful motivator is love. See, this is a huge conversation. It is our fitra, our design. It is the love for wrong things. It is love that ironically makes nations bomb other nations. It is the love of power, love of wealth, and love of domination. Love makes a person give up their life for another person. It is the love of wealth and love of status. Love is an extremely powerful thing that if we lo love for the wrong things, we can destroy the world. And this is a fact. If we have the wrong love for the wrong things, we can destroy the world. We see governments kill women and children because their love to stay in power. This is not right. Love is not a small topic. It's not like we're sitting here talking about rom-coms. No, this is a deep topic and we need to know what it is and how loving in the wrong way, in the wrong things, can destroy not only you, but the whole world. So today I'm going to be narrowing it down to romantic love. Okay, in romantic love, I'm going to say a few mistakes or pitfalls that we fall into. I'm going to say the most common ones. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created different kinds of love. In a simpler way, I'm going to say Allah created different compartments in our heart that contains different types of love in each compartment. Everything is good as long as you put the right love in the right compartment. In each compartment, there's a specific type of love and you have to put it in the proper compartment. If you don't, that's when the real damage happens. You're probably thinking, what am I talking about? So I'm gonna give an analogy before I explain what I'm talking about. Have y'all ever gone to a gas station? Okay, yes, right? So imagine you're going to a gas station to fill up your empty gas tank, but you see that the gas prices are really high that day. But you see an advertisement for orange juice and it is selling cheap because it's on sale and it's not real orange juice, it's Sunny D, the cheap kind, and it's not juice. It's not real juice. So you think to yourself, I'm really cheap today, so I'm going to put orange juice instead of gas in my gas tank. Now, what happens when you do that, right? You'll destroy the car, yes, but not only is it going to run, is it not going to run, but you broke the car. So what does this have to do with the heart? Well, just like a gas tank, it only takes in gas, a certain type of gas, nothing else. Just like in a human heart, heart in the innermost part, it only takes in a certain type of love and it is the love of Allah. We will call the central part the loop. This is not just love, it is what we live for and what we will die for, the central part of our heart. See, this isn't just love, it's worship. It becomes worship. It's not something you can just pray for because you because you don't pray for money, right? You worship it. It's there in the central part 
which was only created for God. So do you understand, right? If you put orange juice in the gas tank, you'll ruin the gas tank and the car. But in the central part of your heart, it only is, it's only for Allah. It is only for the creator, God. So within the human part, there's an inner part, which is like a gas tank, only meant for gas. In this case, for the heart only created for God, Allah. When being Muslim, you pray many times a day, right? And you say, La ilaha illallah. Do we know what we're actually saying? No, we don't actually know what we are are saying, we're not only saying there is no God but Allah, the creator. Well, it's true, but we're also saying there's nothing that goes in the inner core of our heart except for Allah. Whatever language you say it in, the creator, the ultimate, the almighty goes in that central part of your heart. And, and that's what la ilaha illallah is trying to say. That's why a person can be destroyed. They can be destroyed. Destroyed when something comes in that core part, except for Allah. Just like the car, a human being, a society, and the world can be destroyed if we put anything else in that part of our heart except for Allah. What does that mean? So that means if I put money or I put status or power or a person, that part can be destroyed because only Allah fits in the central part of our heart. Don't do it because don't put anything else in that part because you will feel very hurt and you will not destroy yourself, not only destroy yourself, but destroy other people in the world. You will endure lots of pain and create it and, and, oh, you will endure lots of pain and you also create lots of pain. That's how you will know when you put anything else in that part. Allah didn't create that part for anything else. That Allah is only meant for, for in that central part. It's like taking anything else and making Allah into Ila. And ilah isn't just something to pray to. If you study the term, the root, you will see it's anything that dictates how you live or how you act. And ilah is the master. Whatever you love in life is your master. So you only love your master. If your master is money, then you're a slave to money. If it's to your spouse, then you're a slave to your spouse. It if, if it's our ch in, if it's our children, oh, you will be surprised that there's a wrong way to love your children. No one is really taught that there's a wrong way to love our children, right? To love your children. Well, have you ever wondered why there is a mother-in-law issue? Because the dynamic from day one is unhealthy. It might not be something you want to hear, but it's unhealthy from day one because that boy or that's your son of yours is not supposed to be in the place saved only for Allah. Your life was never supposed to revolve around your children. It's, it's unhealthy to revol 
revolve anything, whether married or not married, or you're a mother or you're not a mother. It is our greatest and deepest love for Allah only then, only then, mark my words, you will have a healthy relationship with the creation. Because so, your greatest and deepest love is for only Allah. That's when you'll have a healthy relationship with your creation. And you will also have a good relationship with everyone if you put it in the right compartment. See, I'm not saying you can't, you can't love your children. Of course you can love your children. And I'm not saying you can't love your spouse or, or I'm not even saying you can't love money. Of course you can. You can love anything, but you have to put it in the right compartment. Allah lists all halal. All are eight things, right, from hal which is halal. Eight things to love, which is halal. It's your parents, your children, siblings, wealth, spouse, and to live your business where you fear decline. Is any haram? Does the Allah say uh, your drinking habits or boyfriend or this? Oh no, none of this is haram. All of this is halal. But Allah warns us if any of these things are more beloved to you than Allah and his messenger, that's when you face a problem. Even the halal, if it's loved the wrong way, it will cause damage for you and it will also cause damage for others. So you have to put things in the proper place. See, what we are saying is nothing goes in that core of our hearts except for our creator, which is Allah. If you put anything else, if you put money or if you put power, your spouse or your kids, you will know when it'll hurt. You'll know when it hurts like heck. You will know when you are doing wrong, that you are overpowering your love for other things in that central part, if you're overpowering your love of, of, for, of Allah. So the main thing is we cannot put anything in that central part. That central part is made for only Allah. So think back to the gas station story. If you put orange juice inside that gas tank, you will destroy the car, right? You will destroy not only the gas tank, but you will destroy the car. So you need to think back to that story when you feel that you might be overpowering Allah, like you might be you might feel pain because if you if you put money or anything else above Allah then not only you will be ruined but the whole world can be ruined okay so nothing could be put in that central part except Allah we say la ilaha illallah for a reason, which means that there is only one God, which is Allah, and that we only put Allah in that central part and he is the most important thing in our lives. And we cannot overtake Allah. 
So you will know when you make the mistake and you have to make sure that mistake does not happen. Hope you know what love is now and thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum.